Feeling this crowd is really settling in, hoping for an epic battle. There was a nice intensity in the stadium last night for the Djokovic Vavrinka, Vavrinka match. Oh. Saw a quick glance there from the doll to the serve clock. Already testing it, was down to two. Yeah, both these guys are going to be uh, keeping a wary eye on that shot clock because Cilic, as we know, has been known to take his time, especially of late. I don't think this match is going to be breaking any speed records, is it? <laughs> Maybe with pace of shot, but definitely not with pace of play. Talk us through some of the changes to the serve that we sense Rafa has made this year, Mark. Yeah, you know, he's getting a little bit more value on the first serve, and especially behind the second, he's being able to get the serve plus one, which is so important when you consider the weapon that he has with that forehand. It's interesting, you think of Rafa Nadal as you know, the grinder, the guy from the back of the court, but actually his serve is such an important component of his game. When he serves well and he's confident in that stroke, I think it filters down to the rest of his game. Then he's more confident with the forehand, the plus one, plays a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, hope by telling us interestingly that not necessarily the speed off the racket of the serves improved. It's actually the, the speed as it hits the returner. It's up about five miles an hour on where it was last year. That is the pace at which the ball is hitting the receiver's racket. So that's where you're getting an indication of the extra bit of bite on Rafa's serve this season. Peace. Interesting what you're mentioning there, Nick, with the numbers from Hawkeye. And basically, that's characterized from a player's standpoint as a heavy serve, right? That means the action after the bounce. You don't normally, you don't see it on the radar. You don't pick up the four or five extra miles an hour. But as a returner, you feel it. It takes away time from you, and there's a weight to the serve when you make contact as a returner. As well, if you talk to a lot of players, they will tell you how difficult it is to get a clean contact on his serve because of the amount of spin there is to it. Marin I, a few times that I played Rafa, it was a hard one to get a clean strike on. A lot of movement, late movement. Talked about the plus one for Nadal. Equally as important for Cilic, as you know, once he gets on the defense, it'll be very hard for him to get back to neutral. Second. sense as well that a high first serve percentage has got to be 
top of his priority list. Chilich can stick with Nadal is the heavy forehand cross court from Nadal. I mentioned the height of Marin Chilich. It's to his two handed back end. He's okay with hitting it shoulder height and hitting it through the court. So it's going to be important for Nadal to mix up a few forehands up the line. Again, Chilich. Nadal certainly read the serve, but he's been able to find a way to put it back in the play. Isner, of course, previous round, touched a couple of bullets there, didn't he? Isn't had some positions, some winning positions in a couple of sets. He used all of his get out of jail free cards, that's for sure. Saved three set points in the first set, lost the second, and then saved two set points in the third. So very easily could have been out of the event. It showed great mental toughness. Let person. Good value on that serve out wide, 118 miles an hour. Very important serve for Nadal, the out wide serve in the deuce court. Is the six sets he's played here against Milman and Chung. Neither of those players were able to break the Spaniard serve. the return position from Chilich. You can tell right away he has a strategy. He's going to try to pressure the second serve of Nadal. Hasn't had any success quite as yet, but you can tell that's his clear-cut strategy. Shorter points will generally favor Marin Chilich. Serve, not move. Completely flat footed. Interestingly, the win over Isna was the first top 20 win he's had all season, Chilich. That's shocking. So, solid start from both. Nadal. Up two Nadal one on set. Two games to one first set. That's what you play. Tanasi Kokanakis in the second round. That's uh, the Australian. Frustratingly, from his perspective, forced to pull out of that one. More injuries, more concerns for Kokanakis having. Got a win in a major for the first time in some four years. 
Lazar, I'm sure, despite the fact he said he'd rather have played, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm delighted. It's time for Woods is actually shown on the big screen here inside the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Good really inside track on that one, honestly. <laughs> you always demand him a note. Actually ran into Tiger this afternoon and said I'm coming out to watch Rafa play today. He's a huge fan of tennis. Take your seats quickly, please. Thank you. Rafael Nadal looking for a ninth straight Grand Slam. That's what's on the line Players for him already. this evening. Thank you. Three games. Please, any seat available. serve numbers in you mark and they dropped a lot this year yeah it's really interesting when you look at his serve you go back to 2014 when he won the title here at the US Open percentage was a lot higher on the first serve percentage games won on the serve much higher and if you look at 2019 15. His name is nowhere to be found with first serve percentage. When they list 60 players, he doesn't fall within the top 60. Normally, he averages about the 13th best server on tour. dropping the serve numbers mark is it just a bit of confidence is it what might it be down to do you think you know it's interesting watching the evolution of his serve over time when even Isovich came on board seemed to really speed up the motion and now he seems a little bit further back to the original motion where he has a little pause at the top that ball is in the air so much longer if you go back and look at the videos from 2014 US Open Second serve has no racket acceleration. 15, and he struggled with double faults throughout the year and especially through this tournament. With 37 doubles, in fact, for his first three matches. That's five more than he served the entire tournament when he won here. He's already for Chilich, two break points. able to secure the first break of the evening. Nadal needs three games to one for set. It's in some ways 
the challenge for Chilich this evening as well, having not had a great year. Is it more difficult to fashion the belief out here as we remind you of usopen.org? You can go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Hashtag US Open if you uh, head there. Plenty to see. I mean, he's definitely not come in with that much form. He's almost survived and advanced so far in this tournament. Second round against Steve. Struggled mightily at the start. We mentioned the match against Isner was very tight. You know, the things he has to do well to have a chance against Nadal. It starts with the serve. That's first and foremost. That's just why Chase Review shows us. And as we've been highlighting so far, is that he struggled on serve. Think back to the 2018 Australian Open match these guys had when Nadal retired at two love in the fifth. Chilich serves 67% first serves, 20 aces. Those are numbers he's going to have to be close to tonight to have a chance. Fifteen. A little better court positioning there from Chilich up inside the baseline. Yeah, it kind of all started with the return, didn't it? It was a very good return. He got Nadal moving backwards. response here and Chilich has the ability to do this right here to absolutely unload on a couple of ground strokes before he gets too far on the defense in these types of rallies Nadal is broken for the Again, first time Chilich. here at the U.S. Open this year. Cilic bounces back in fine style. 
Find a seat. Quickly, please. Thank you. Aaron Cilic then. Covering nicely to get himself back on serve. It's opening set. A shot that gets overlooked so often with Nadal is how well he defends with the slice on the backhand side. And a quick look here. Chilic going to challenge this call. So this review confirms it's in. Mid rally there. That slice backhand where Chilic didn't move forward. It reset the point. about as confident as he was in back against him. I don't think he was doing a little more. He was coming forward. Jonas Bjorkman worked with him, didn't he? And it felt like Jonas kind of seemed to encourage him, Mark, to look for those opportunities. You're spot on, Nick. That was something you thought that evolved in his game. It's almost like he's retreated back a little bit and become a little more tentative. Certainly now he's taking the paddle world by storm, isn't he? Fifteen thirty. You can see Chilich trying to do the right thing, trying to be aggressive, trying not to give up any court positioning, but he does struggle a little bit on the forehand when it gets above the shoulders. Tends to spray a couple. Ultimately, the defense from Nadal causes the error, right? You could tell Nadal the shot before is the one Chilich should have moved forward on. He waited and he didn't get enough on the forehand inside in, and Nadal teed off on the backhand pass. Why it's so difficult against the Djokovic's, the Nadal's, the Fetters, they cover ground so well. You think you have them in a defensive position, and quickly they strike back. Best in the world, statistically, Nadal, at having been broken, then breaking immediately back. 15.
Vasilic has to be a little bit careful, right? You see he's hitting through the court, but Nadal is able to defend. He's got to make sure he mixes in spreading the court as well. He gets too predictable. Nadal will definitely take advantage. Perspiration on the court. A little humid here in New York in the last 24 hours. A little more than has been throughout the course of the event. Once again, he had the forehand right mid-court, and he went through the court. Didn't get to spread the court enough. Maybe inside out or that inside in with a little bit more spin so he could get Nadal off the court. Nadal doing the right thing, just backing up, giving himself a little bit of room to absorb the pace from Chilich's ground strokes. how good it's got to be from Chilich's point of view. Full the lights out return and the follow-up was equally impressive. You feel like Chilich is going to have to play a number of points like that, right? Immediate conviction with the ground strokes, no hesitation moving forward. Not easy to do against Nadal. Well, somewhat of a, an opportunity here to get back in this game. Didn't last very long, though, did it? Again, another. Nadal's used that serve very effectively this season. And it comes to his aid once more. 5 2. to be sent away. Well, the humidity has played a part. I don't know whether he wants just a little, little change of tension, maybe. Been too shabby a start. Winning here in 2017. Kevin Anderson, of course, in the final back then. Well, as is always the case, temperature drops a little bit. But on a rainy day, the humidity is at 86 percent. So very quick. We're putting the corona very quick. Time. Nadal just sharing a bit of a. A moment of humor, I think, with Louise Enzo. I think it was to do with the time between points. Seems to be the case. It generally is, isn't it? There's conversations with when he's concerned. Yeah. Uh, 
straight years behind Cilic. Has been a, had a win on the ATP Tour, but yet to lift the title this season. It's been one of his poorest seasons of his career. Serving 2-5. Fifteen eleven. Thirteen eleven. In many ways, Mark Chilic is going to dip this season. In it has been down to a little bit of motivation at times, just a little bit a case of being worn out. <laughs> Even more highlights how remarkable it is these guys have been able to maintain it for 15 years at the top of the sport without having a dip, bar injury. Yeah, they've set a standard that's 14, almost no. unrealistic to where we expect it, right? And that's why when we try to really diagnose what's going on with Chilich, we know the rigors of the tour. It's difficult. Your opposition is constantly improving. You've got to continually add things, as we talked about, which Nadal has done, Djokovic has done. Federer has done. You'd have to say since the Australian Open 2017, the one-handed backhand up the line has improved tremendously. So always working on their craft. True professionalism. I'm not sure it'll ever be matched. Again, Cilic. Without, as you say, ever losing that what seems to be almost unconditional three. love of the game, which is driving them and continuing to drive them forwards. Well, that's the thing. I think we will see players in the future of their level. I just don't think we'll see the combination of level, professionalism, great ambassadors for the sport. I mean, these guys check all of the boxes. We're so fortunate to have them in the game. Hope it lasts forever. Federer was saying a couple of days ago that uh, he was asked if he'd play till he was 40. Didn't rule it out. Tell you what, the way he played yesterday against David Goffin, it's distinctly possible. Interesting thing about that as well is that Federer is such, he set such a great example, which might be not really what he wanted to do. Because you see Djokovic after he lost last night saying, "Hey, I, I've got many more years, right?" They understand they're in their early 30s that they could, you know, based on the way Federer is playing, possibly play for five, seven more years. Child, somewhat in distress by the sound of it. <laughs> Rafa's going to take a minute or two here just to gather himself. Good job there by Chilich. Nadal took a little bit off that first serve, tried to handcuff him to the body. Chilich getting out of the way. Good footwork there. That's a good number there from Chilich. First serve's in play.
not going to get it done. You can see that unfolding. Chilich hitting a backhand approach out right up the middle. Unfortunately, doesn't volley well enough to dig up that first one. Yeah, and let's not forget you're coming to a, into a guy with two forehands effectively. <laughs> it's not like he's, you know, <laughs> as we see Boris Becker. Could have used his first volley there. Yes, there's a few people could say that. Double B. Very solid set of tennis from the champion here of a couple of years ago. He's up two set points. Just a little wide from Chilich. He is going to have to improve greatly if he's to stay with this man tonight. 6-3 after 36 minutes. That's a that's a good interesting first set there. If you look at the numbers, Chilich pretty good on serve. Three aces, one double fault, 68% first serves in play. So that's a really good number for Chilich. Nadal, however, first serves won 79%. That's a telling stat for him. Troubling staff for Chilich. Second serves won 33%. That number is going to have to improve. You feel moving forward. However, it's not a huge disparity in stats. So if you're Marin Chilich, you should be somewhat encouraged, just realizing you're going to have to raise your lever, level ever so slightly against Nadal. Fine win for Galmont Feast today. That's, uh, he's wrapped his match up. Double quick fashion. I believe he's now a win away from returning to the top ten. Good season for Morfis. Started the year in great fashion, of course, winning in Rotterdam and uh, well down under. Bit of a flip in the middle, but got it back together here in the US Open back in the quarterfinals. outside or uh, two big fountains just to the middle there it's on the left hand side the uh, relatively new courts the practice courts that were rebuilt on uh, three or four years ago now great access they've got there and they've got an excellent look at the practice facilities here love the job they've done to this place major improvements I had a chance yesterday to interview Rod Laver and just asked him a couple of questions, you know, based on his first times when he came to New York was actually at Forest Hills and to think about today's facility and needless to say he just was amazed by the facilities that the players have nowadays. Totally different than the intimate atmosphere that existed at Forest Hills. Chilich with plenty of work ahead of him. Needs to turn this match around. For what's been a, a challenging season for him. 
the form that Nadal Son. has displayed so far. Not just in this turn, but also this summer on the hard courts in Montreal. You have to feel that Chilich maybe has to redline a little bit. He has to just say, you know what, I'm down a set. I got to see where my game is at. See if I can elevate to heights I've been to before. Win in 2014 that not referencing, of course, the wins he had over Nishapuri. Final, uh, that picture of a Federer in the semi finals. That was a remarkable semi final day, wasn't it? Because uh, second set, Shakuri beat Djokovic, I think, if memory serves. You're right. People were, that had finals tickets were getting ready for Djokovic Federer. They showed up for the final and they're like, who are these two guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got to know him pretty quickly. Said that Aaron Chilich is you will struggle to meet a nicer guy. He really is a humble man. One of the best guys in the locker room has tremendous respect from all players. And as you mentioned, Nick, as nice as they come. Was Nadal for that return? He almost had to run in to hit it. You mentioned Chilich not really accelerating on the second, so the serve is kind of dying. It's the opposite of what we talked about in Nadal's serve earlier. There's not much after the bounce. Yeah, 81 miles an hour. That is shy of pace. As you and I know, Nick, there, there are two different types of 81, right? The one that bounces short with a lot of action on it. So there's a lot of kind of weight on it after the bounce. But there's another one where you just kind of roll the arm over and get it in. Excellent serve there, seeing the doll is so far back. Use that slider out wide in the deuce court. 14, and that's the serve he used very effectively in Australia when they played a couple of years ago in that semi final, the match that Nadal wasn't able to complete in that fifth set, but he used that serve potently that day. I mean, you can barely see where Nadal is. <laughs> Needed that. Game challenge. A nice boost at the start of this second set. First game, second set. Australia. He was sitting at a career high three in the world. It was 18 months ago now. Yeah, and you were thinking, you know, a couple of final runs there in a short span. You thought, okay, is this the guy that's going to challenge the big three with Murray pushed aside with injury? Also, Vavrinka recovering from the knee surgeries. And as you mentioned, been a very tough year, tough season for Marin Cilic in 2019. He's also one of those players I've seen throughout his career where all of a sudden he can hit a purple patch. You talked about the wins in 2014. All of a sudden in the semifinals and final, he was playing lights out.
To say that's a small opportunity. Second serve, love 15. Got to find a way to get that return back in play. Keep the pressure on Nadal. as well knows he at times just going back to that previous return one return that Chilich has never really had it has been the kind of chip the block return is it now I'm not saying it's going to work against Rafa because he, if you do chip it back you're probably going to be doing more running but it's not a it's not a, a return that he naturally he has to get the ball in play on a big point yeah it's not a return he features at all really Alt. he's got a time the return so well because he's looking to drive every return. Time again, his ability to get around the hanging ball. Look at how far he goes to make sure he gets another crack at a forehand. Well, there are a couple of shots you look at when you're trying to gauge what level Rafael Nadal is at, and one of them is that two-handed backhand. We saw him really drive a couple in that rally, but full credit to Chilich there, able to finish with the forehand inside out. We're seeing a pretty confident Rafael Nadal so far, as expected. Two of six first serves in this game. That's what Carlos Moyer was talking about, Again, really, wasn't another. it? You know, it's looking at the average rally length of what he won here a couple of years ago. It's been brought down a fraction this year. Again, if you look at his numbers on a hard court, it's just that ability, that one-two punch straight away to get on the front foot, hold your position. And the other thing that's striking, you were talking about it right before the broadcast. You had some numbers from Hawkeye. You see in the background there, that was a second serve speed, 107 miles an hour. This year on average at the U.S. Open, 99 miles per hour on the second serve. Think back to 2017 when he won, all the way down at 94. Uh, 
So to bring it up by five miles an hour on an average, that is substantial. Yeah. Hence why he's able to get more first ball shots off of the serve behind the first and the second. It's a humid evening out there. Quite as bad as what we experienced here last year, of course. That match with Federer and Millman was something else. It's interesting because Marin Cilic only has one double fault so far. We talked so much about the double faults. But on the match, he's only winning 33% of second serve points. And we see where Nadal is retreating back for the return. It just shows you that with a nice deep return from Nadal, Cilic is unable to get back to neutral and then ultimately on the offense. That's a better forehand, right? We talked about spreading the court. Beautiful shot there from Chilich rather than going through the court. And I think what we also saw there, and this is something Fanini used actually in Monte Carlo, was just taking the odd bit of pace off sometimes the first because as it gets to Rafa, it's dropping, and we know he can crush it from anywhere, but you're probably more likely just to get a slightly shorter return, aren't you? Just to keep him thinking a little bit off that first serve because of where he stands. in this game for the Croatian. for the champion here from five years ago who leads 2-1 down a set. To one, uh, set. Thank you. 
especially behind the players, take a seat. It really has been an Please. outstanding US Open, some fantastic storylines. Matteo Berrettini, of course, adding his name to that list here this week with that win today, first Italian in the last eight, some 40 years plus. meeting here at the US Open. We thought we might get there last year, but it didn't happen. I almost feel like people aren't really talking about it. They don't want to jinx it. <laughs> They've wanted it so bad here at the US Open. Yeah. Kind of seemed fitting, wouldn't it, to end the decade of majors to have them play in the final here on Sunday. Fifteen. A long way to go, of course. Stan Barinka may have something to say about that. Or indeed, Daniel Medvedev. How do you think line. that crowd's going to be for Daniel Medvedev and Stan Barinka? <laughs> Must see TV there. Yeah. Good stuff there from Chilich. 15, 13. That's something you can't overlook with Marin Chilich. We talked about his troubles in 2019. However, he's one of those players that does have belief in the big moments. Good to see that as well. And lacking in his game, the intensity. He didn't play at Wimbledon in the first round there. He was nothing of it. He was so flat. Chilich had missed his chance. Seemed to be an opportunity to get in, Mark, didn't it? How about the gets from Rafael Nadal? And you're so right, Nick. Look like maybe Chilich should have moved forward. Tiger can't believe it. <laughs> That's a great camera shot. <laughs> with a perfect Not conversion rate. And there you go. He'd actually complain at the change of ends in the opening set, saying he felt Louis Angel was starting the clock too soon. Off a little out of position, looked a little awkward for once. And Marin Cilic has got a break here in the second. Much to the frustration of this man. Tiger there with his girlfriend Erica and his two kids. Sam and Charlie not happy with what's going on here in the second set. Here to cheer on Rafa Nadal. Yes, usopen.org. Do head there, download the app for all the scores, highlights, news, celebrity sightings, plenty of those tonight, and more available in the App Store and Google Play Store, usopen.org. Well, if you 
thought for a moment that Rafa Nadal would be discouraged. He thought wrong. Great aggressive play here from Chilich. Just didn't do enough with that volley right there. Gave Nadal a little extra time. Finds his mark up the line. I mean, seeing where Nadal is to return the first serve would have been a very interesting thing to see him try to return Isner's serve when you think about Isner's kick out wide in that ad court. Oh, nothing from there, wasn't it? Fifth and a finish from Chilich. Yeah, we always need to kind of raise camera one's position, don't we, to see him. It's so, you know, if we lower it anymore, we're not going to see him from camera one. It's vast stadium, 23,000 people, of course, and some change. Biggest stadium in world tennis. Shot there. You can see Nadal trying to put a little extra air underneath that backhand, trying to get it up high. We talked about the height of Marin Cilic. Those balls are not disrupting him right now. He's able to still get on top of him. Great footwork from the Croat. One drop shot yet. Nadal hit that return and stayed that far back. I know it's not his strength, but you've got to continue to use a little variety against Nadal. With it handily. Nice recognition as well from Chilich, right? As soon as he saw the return drop a little short, moved inside the court. Yeah, look at the winners count. Six winners have come off the forehand side of this set alone from Chilich. Fair few in the last couple of games. Definitely the most encouraging Chilich. period of the match for the big Croatian. Source of comfort for his team. Chilich Their leads man leads four. Time. 
Rafa Nadal not happy at the change of ends, just expressing his frustration towards Louise Engzel, saying that uh, he didn't feel it was fair, a time violation being called upon him. I can tell because you that thinks... Morkai telling us his average time between points tonight is 29 seconds. Cilic at 26, so both over the allotted time. That's why we have a serve clock, of course. Which is 25 seconds. And I guess the only grey area, Mark, is as to how quickly the umpire presses the button to start it. Start it now. Yeah. Just to clarify, this all counts. It's until you actually strike the ball. And Rafa was a lot faster on that point. Thirteen. That's a blistering return there from Chilich. Expecting the wide serve and delivering with the two handed back end. Somewhat ruffled. He's been a bit of manages emotions well. The channel is a bit of frustration. Chilich needs four games to two. The second set. And a little look towards his corner as if to say, I'm in control. Yeah, almost a look of, I'm back, right? This is a phenomenal point from Marin Cilic. What a get there from Nadal. Nicely controlled on the half volley from Cilic. Confidence is growing. That was not an easy shot. There's always a lot of things at play when you start to get to the second week of the slam. Obviously, we're focusing on Nadal 
But you got to think, what about for Chilich as well, right? He's looking at his section going, hey, if I can get by tonight, Schwartzman in the quarterfinals, and then possibly Berrettini or Monfils and Duhar. Mm -hmm. Monfils. Through a little earlier on against the Spaniard. Opportunity to possibly get back to another Grand Slam final. There's a quarter finalist here. Let's not forget last year as well. Lost to Kate Nishikori in five sets. Chilich. Hesitation there from Chilich off the first strike forehand. Thought about coming forward and then got caught a little bit in no man's land. And Nadal was able to take advantage. I think for Nadal, he has to be careful, right? Once you find an opponent that has a lot of firepower, finds his range, Nadal has a tendency to get a little too defensive. He's got to make sure he still stays on the offensive. Period of the match by some Chilich distance for Marin Chilich, who leads 5 2. Very fine period of play for the champion of five years ago. A few too many errors in the opening set, but he's sharpened things up nicely here in the second. Got himself a healthy lead. The 
Dahl just doesn't Love have them. quite so much time on the ball, does he? Yeah, for sure. The ball's coming back quickly. Chilich timing that return nicely. So maybe he's just found his range on the return. And he took a little time to get used to the Dahl serve. Left. Chilich played a lefty in his opening match against Martin Klijan. Let Think again. It's interesting because when you watch Nadal practice and warm up, he absolutely bludgeons the ball. And it's more like that last point where he just steps in. It's not his natural instinct, but boy, is he tough to beat when he's offensive as well. You know, and that's a strategy when you play a big guy like Chilich, right? You you want to take away time from him. You don't want him to be able to get his feet set. And as you can see, as this match is worn on, Chilich has got his timing. He's now the one that looks pretty comfortable out there. And if you're an average club player and you go and watch Rafa practice, probably don't want to take too many lessons from it because you might lose a couple of joints if you go and try and practice that way. Uh, it's intense. intimidating. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> oh, that is sensational. Game another. And Nadal clearly making a quick adjustment here. That was a much more offensive Chilich game from Nadal. Five against the three first realizing seconds. that his opponent has elevated his game. Nice in match recognition from the world number two. The ball's in hand to tie things up here. Chilich and Paul on the right near sideline. The ball's called out. Chase review will have the final say. They'll tell us it just missed. Love it. Short of a return there from the dog. Had plenty of time on that a second serve time. return. Chilich has two challenges thrown there. Return landed inside the service line. Chilich quick to jump on it. Ooh. 
Well, again, that's that first ball. Well, he's been able to dictate off. Once again, I mean, did you see where the return landed for Nadal? So he's just Four, lost a little bit of depth on that second serve return. Not putting Cilic under any pressure. And Nadal talking to himself as well. He's a little agitated. Cilic. Finds himself with two set points. Let percent. Nick, you think the pressure has just ratcheted up a little bit with Djokovic out of the event now for Please. the other big two? Maybe. I mean, Rafa could answer that. I'm not sure with Rafa. I think, I mean, the guy's the best compartmentalizer there's probably ever been in this sport, right? He's, yep. It's all been about the next point. Goes wide. You have to say that was good stuff from Cilic. He was able to take advantage of just a slight drop in level. He elevated his. He's going to go for a bathroom break, I think. We are all square here at a set of picks. It is a very humid evening, as we were saying, as we take a look at the numbers, Mark. What have we got here? Well, that was a very impressive set there from Marin Cilic. Still serving very well. Two aces, no double faults. That's a key stat. 68% of first serves in play. That's fantastic. Did a little bit better with returns in play versus the first serve. Up that number a little bit to 50%. But the stat I like the most, net points won five of seven. So. A little bit more successful moving forward. Winners to unforced errors, great ratio. Not really bad numbers if you look from the doll side. So you have to just say, you know what, Marin Chillet. It's a familiar scene here in Arthur Ashe. One of the New Yorkers. Young NL throwing out some shapes at the change events. Standing crowd in tonight. Once again, the night sessions, of course, synonymous with this event, making it really what it is. Chilich has just made his way back out onto court. Well, the crowd was anticipating a heavyweight battle last night. Didn't quite get it. It was a stoppage in the fight, but 
tonight you'd have to say we're headed the distance. Worth just putting a bit of a reference point on this situation. Chilic a long way, of course, from actually winning this match. But I've just had a look at Rafa's record when he wins the opening set of majors. He has only lost once in seven years at a major <laughs> when he has lost the opening, when he has won the Third opening set. That's staggering. That, you'll remember, was to Fabio Fanini here in 2015. Take your seats, please. Play the seven. size of the task in front of Marek Cilic here. But that second set is certainly an impressive one. Fifteen. It'll be interesting to watch if Nadal just gets a fraction more aggressive to start this third set. Was a little agitated on the changeover once again. Didn't quite have the right water bottle, so it's a little bit of tension there for Nadal. Let first. Time. Australia, where Nadal did win the opening set against Cilic, they're going to lose, but of course that wasn't a completed match. It doesn't really make a whole lot of difference, to be honest. Cilic could argue wore him down. It's an ideal start, game though, to level. this third set. And the man from New York. First game, third set. Well, there is no better competitor in the sport of tennis than Rafael Nadal. But he realizes he's in for a battle tonight. Marin Cilic has elevated his game. Got through a tough battle in the previous round against John Isner. Nadal hasn't been tested at all. You could say this is the first time he's been tested. You mentioned the walkover in the second round over Kokonakis. Two straight set wins. That sandwich that walk over. Seems to have had an impact early doors here. Well, I think for sure it was to be more aggressive, realizing that Chilich was the one dictating play for the majority of that second set. Nadal is just trying to take away a little bit of time from Chilich now. Look at the reaction. Nick, you and I had a look at some of the Hawkeye numbers. Serving Chilich is really using the wide serve in the deuce court and the T serve in the ad court on the first serve. We talked about Nadal's positioning, smart serving from Chilich. When you see how far back Nadal is. Yeah, no real difference in the forehand speed either. If, if you look at it on the outside, but I actually think it was a little more, but it was just a little more accurate. And as you say, Nolsey, maybe just getting a little more time on the forehand to actually. Spread the court. You know, I think since there was not a disparity in MPH on the forehand, I think it was the fact that Nadal just dropped his returns a little bit shorter in that second set as opposed to the first set, and Chilich took advantage of it.
14, 13. Although he missed that forehand, he is doing a better job, right? He tried to take a little off, get a little more inside in spin there so that the ball would go off the court. Still yet to employ a drop shot. of the slice getting his man out of position and still had a fair bit to do there. It looked as though Chilich didn't think it was going to make its way over, and ultimately that moment just cost him. Incredible defense from Nadal, absorbing the pace from Marin Chilich. It's a little fortunate there with the net court. It's one of the longer exchanges of the match, and Nadal looking to make it three from three on the break points. First time we've seen Nadal move up for the second serve return. First time we've seen the aggressive position. I actually Just love the play. I know he missed it. Tiger doesn't like it. But I love that play. It's not something you see him do often. But oh, he missed it by the slimmest of margins. That was going to be a clean winner. Yeah, that was like Tiger mid fairway, wasn't it? Four iron, 260 yards to the green, taking it on. Just rolled off. Once again, moving up. Such good off the ball movement from the top there, wasn't it? Because Chilich did really well out of the corner with his slice. He's continued to go to yes. that serve up the tee in the ad side. Nadal not choosing to guess and maybe get there a little sooner. Great serve, great forehand from Chilich. Advantage and challenge. One of the longer games we've had out here. 
Shilic with his chance to close it out. amazed by the top three just the tennis IQ gets overlooked just to see Nadal make this adjustment this is not something he's comfortable doing he prefers more time on the return knowing the way that Chilich was dominating playing the second set he's now taken the stance to be more aggressive on the second serve return so impressive Chilich. That's a smart serve from Chilich, right? Going to the forehand side, knowing that for Nadal, a little bit easier to take it early from the backhand side with the two hands. Yeah, and approaching three figures in the MPH as well, the second serve, so adding a little bit more to it. Strong stuff from the Croatian. Was given a test or two in that game, in but passes game in fine colors. First guess, real test that Rafa's had here at the US Open this year in front of him right now. Fifteen eleven. on the left side line the post court in. Oh, the super zoom required there. One millimeter. That one missed by Hawkeye telling us. Challenge and pull on the left. Sure about this one. It's Rafa's own academy in Manacor. Played host to a challenger yeah, last week, didn't it? Really. One yeah, pretty good person in the field, huh? Just having a look at here, reminding myself who won yesterday there. Emil Rusuveria of uh, Finland was a winner, the 20 year old, winning in the challenger there that uh, Rafa's Academy hosted. Uh, 
14-15. Serve plus one behind the second serve, something he's improved tremendously on display there. Good serving Again, from Nadal. the champion of two years ago, Rafa Nadal. Nadal leads He's got a real test on his hands tonight, third though. Sense. He leads 2-1 in this third set. Find a seat, please. Eighteen time Thank major you. champion. I found it all. Twelve times a winner, of course, at the French Open, the first male or female player ever to capture 12 majors at one single event in singles. It's really staggering. That is brilliant. Incredible athleticism from the Spaniard here. A few people digesting what they've just seen. Nothing wrong with the little thing. Somehow, he's managed to get something on it. Enjoyed it. Pretty good reaction there from Nadal. Opening point to lose for Chilich, given the way he played it. Now he's in a bit of a hole at Love 30. from Tiger Woods. How about this? Great defensive lob there, and then 84 miles an hour on the pass. A reaction from one superstar to another. Thank you. What a game this is.
again. Perhaps another... unsurprisingly, Cilic throws in a double at the end of it. Two points another he had leads. stolen from under his nose. And Nadal gets the first break of the third. That was quite a game from Rafael Nadal. And some of those highlights you might find at usopen.org later on. And there's plenty more to see there as well. Live scoring stats, draws. Do go and visit the official tournament site at usopen.org. Really feel like Chilich has done a lot wrong, do you? Here no. in the third. No, Nadal has elevated his game. It's become just a little bit more aggressive again, right from the first strike. Thirteen. Spike in the intensity from Rafa as if it was needed. It's really spurred him on here. Fortuna. Big aggressive Four, return two, there from Chilich down 40 love. Oh, what's unlucky. It was a very clean return. Nadal looks confident this has missed. Four-one. Wide it is. Nadal. It's a good grip. Four-one. Game Nadal. Nadal needs four games to one. That's it.
1978, of course, the US Open moved here to the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. It made its way across. Great Forest Hills. Chilich in trouble in the third. Nadal continuing to employ the strategy on the second serve return of standing closer to the baseline, trying to take away a little bit of time from Chilich. It's interesting. We're seeing a more offensive Nadal here in this third set. Also, the mentality has changed. His average time between points first two sets was 28 seconds. Now in the third, 22 seconds. It's a great shot. Beautiful short Third angle to open the court up. Nadal Chanel Hall on the right side of the service line, and the ball was called in. Oh, did it catch? No. That's the Nadal you see in practice when you walk by on P3. A guy who's bludgeoning the ball, stepping inside the court, and there's no defense to that. Maybe a guy that's no longer in the tournament, Novak Djokovic, but outside of that, there's no way that Chilich can get back to neutral. And if he is on P3, you can hear him from about P13, <laughs> can't you? It's intense stuff, as it has been throughout this third. Chilich under more pressure. Interesting, right? 13, 14. Since he changed the return position, all of a sudden a couple of double faults have snuck back into the serve of Marin Cilic. He's just three of ten points, one behind the second serve in this fourth set. It might be wrapped up pretty shortly. Sensational finish. But the Dahl's four and up the line, proving too hot to handle. Nadal leads five games to one, third set. Just so much to admire about Rafael Nadal. Just up the intensity a little bit to start the third, and it's reflecting in his play. Tremendous performance here in the third set from Nadal. Moria and Francisco Roy sitting side by side. 
Tiger showing more emotion than he did when he clinched the green jacket this year <laughs> watching Nadal. And the uh, sporting stories of this year will be a long way to go to top that, that's for sure. Whatever happens here on Sunday. Look at Carlos Moya. Always cool under pressure. Against 99% of the field, that slice backhand might have kept him in the point a little longer, but as we head into our number three, Cilic, getting any joy. Into the ace race now, eight to seven. That's big time tennis Third there from Chilich. And really a smart decision. Once you get on the run, you're probably not going to get back to neutral, so you might as well let it ride, especially down 5-1 in a set. A brilliant set of tennis from Rafael Nadal, the perfect response to dropping the seconds. Six games to one. He lays down the marker and takes it six one. Sensational third set there from Rafa Nadal. Beautiful serving, 67% of first serves in. How about that? First serves won 93%. Excellent stuff. Winners to unforced errors. Very good ratio. 11 winners in that set. The most winners he's had in a set yet. Reflecting the aggressive mindset adapted by Nadal in the third set. For Cilic. The big difference, only winning 30% on second serves.
time. So work ahead of this man who's perhaps played some of the best tennis we've seen from him in the season, which is encouraging. But has he got another level here, which he may need? And that's really the big question, right? Full Nadal, sense. one of the all-time greats, has Jewish. maybe a couple Jewish. more levels, right, than the average player. What can Chilich do now to turn things around, seeing that Take Nadal seats, has please. become more Thank offensive? You. There's one slight side story here from Nadal's perspective is with Djokovic out of the picture, there is that race for that year end number one. I'm sure that's probably the last thing on his mind right now, but we as fans and Such a premium on Chilich to get in position to drive the ground strokes. You see, when he goes to the slice, there's just nothing on it. That one sat up, not a piercing slice. Nadal absolutely crushes the forehand there. a different Nadal right now in that second set when he was on the run like that he just tried to loop it back now when he's on the run everything is offensive Maybe just feeling a little more pressure to make that one. Given the tidal wave of pressure he's been under in the last 25 minutes here. Still choosing to be fairly aggressive on the second serve return. Again, another. A rather ignominious way to be broken for Baron Cilic, whose resistance it seems might be broken here as he drops serve at the start of this fourth set. It's just so interesting because I covered the Cilic Stebe match. In the second round, and Chilich could not serve. He was struggling on the second serve. Stebe, he just kept making the return, was defensive in his return position, never made the adjustment, allowed Chilich to play himself back into the match. That was the difference. And then you see here somebody with the experience of Nadal all of a sudden going against the grain and moving forward, putting the pressure on Chilich. When Nadal had the defensive stance, Chilich could just kick. The serve in, no pressure. He's so far back. Family, of course, all here. The sister there on the right, mom on the left. I'm with that, I've traveling. It was the permanent fixture at the bigger events in the last few years. As we believe there's an impending marriage, don't we, at uh, some point in the autumn? 
presume you haven't got the invite, Noel. Fifteen. Uh, you know, I haven't been home to check the mail. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mallorca is pretty nice in October. Yeah, good place to hang out. <laughs> There'll be a couple of super yachts available as well if you've got a spare hour or two. You're going to buzz around in your yacht? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> you've got to blow it up first. It's a dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> So the real question is, is there anything Chilich can do to turn this match around? And quite frankly, I'm not certain. He's got a lot of levels. I'm not sure he has the peak level that Nadal has. When I see Nadal playing with this type of aggression, serving extremely well, he is so hard to beat. Whether he was slightly taken out of context, he's definitely playing the Labour Cup, so that's one. But it will be interesting to see how he schedules things. There's a fair bit of pressure for him, of course, to play in Madrid at the Davis Cup finals, aren't there? He's kind of the marquee name there. Being obviously on home soil. Well, I have to figure for Nadal and Djokovic especially. The year end number one is a huge deal. Novak looking to finish number one for the sixth time to tie Pete Sampras. Yeah, the points differential coming into the US Open, just 200 points Nadal leads the Serbian by. Of course, that's going to increase by winning here today. Finished world number one four times. Last one coming in 2017. This, of course, is yet to win the World Tour Finals, isn't he? One of the few events missing from his CV. Game Nada. I, think, I thought it was telling Novak in his press conference saying that he hopes to be back in Asia. He obviously loves to play in Asia. His record is phenomenal there, and he's made it no mystery that he wants to finish the year number one in the world. It's almost as important as chasing the all-time Grand Slam Hall. Historical implications for the top three at every slam. See how quickly the return is getting back on Chilich now. We talked about when you play usually a big opponent, you want to get the ball back quickly. 
And that's the adjustment that Nadal has made. Watch look on the face of this former champion. Really put his foot down, find another level to stay with Nadal. It's not happening right now. This is quite dramatic. 15, On the second serve return, we talked about the adjustment from set two to set three. It's a 13 foot differential. He's got the same return speed at 75 miles per hour, but he's 13 feet closer. That's remarkable. did off the backhand. Yeah, it was an amazing save with that backhand. Those numbers are staggering. I mean, think of the amount of time potentially taken away from Chilich and yet of the same size of ball coming at him all of a sudden. You've got to be out of the serve that much quicker. That was a smart shot there from Chilich. Behind the first serve there, Nadal didn't move north and south as well. He stayed deep in the court. Chilich just rolled the forehand cross court short, and Nadal couldn't even get up to it. He's just a little more rushed, right? We're getting more unforced errors from the racket of Chilich that we saw, especially in that second set, just taking away that little bit of time. Chilich. on it you were counting in the booth <laughs> I mean I think he's gone well over isn't he he's probably not the only one in a few extra seconds against this guy relentless pressure Nadal heading for the last eight three games to land four sets
time. This, of course, proved to be the most challenging of majors initially for Find Nadal to win. It was Project the please, thank you. major here in New York that completed the set back in 2010 when he beat Novak Djokovic in the final. Plays already. When he had Take a few a French piece. Opens or Wimbledon and an Australian Open under his belt. But uh, this was the final piece of the puzzle in terms of the full set. Thank you. Not to win it 13 and, as I mentioned, 2017. Love it. months ago when Dominic Team took a pretty big chunk out of him, didn't he? In the quarterfinals, that epic five yeah, set match that they was had. Extraordinary. Wore him down. Martin Del Potro eventually forcing Nadal to retire. Hashinov, you remember at this stage the round of thirty-two. Vasilashvili last year. Oh, yes. Marin Cilic joining the party in magnificent fashion. That was a beautiful backhand here from Chilich. We almost feel like he's at the stage of the match where he's just got to start redlining, just seeing if there's some way he can claw his way back into this match. Please. It really hasn't been so much about Marin Cilic, as you mentioned, probably the best we've seen him play for quite some time. It's been more about Rafa Nadal. Quick glance at the serve clock. Alt. famous lefty's birthday today, isn't it? Jimmy Connors celebrating his 67th birthday today. A man whose parallels have been drawn with Nadal in terms of his competitive spirit. In fact, I'm told him on this very day, back in 1971, Jimmy his very first match here in New York. Wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> 
full credit to Chilich here. Although down two breaks and two sets to one, still fighting hard. Ferreira's expression doesn't change a whole lot, is there? He's a <laughs> pretty laid back dude, Wayne. Cool, calm, and collected. <laughs> Always been that way. Uh, not much phases him, it would seem. that second serve 106 miles an hour down the tee mm. usually you get the kind of the kicker out wide slider with less pace of course he's up two sets to one and three love double break but still he's facing break point there impressive from the doll it feels like since the start of the third everything's gone up kind of 10 percent isn't it I almost feel like he might have to give an assist to the chair no. umpire Louise Ensel, as soon as she kind of cracked down on Rafa, he got mad. Yeah. And it didn't work out so well for Marin Cilic. <laughs> Maybe he'll have a word with her after. Hey, next time, uh, let him let him be. Don't poke the bear. <laughs> game another. Here's another game. Cilic looking resigned to his fate somewhat. Nadal needs for just quick glance up to the box. A little nod of the head. Yep. This is this is what we wanted. Diego Schwartzman in his uh, post-match interview. A reminder to go to usopen.org. It's the app, if that's what you wish to do, download it. We've got scores, stats, highlights, celebrity sightings, and a whole lot more. USopen.org, plenty to see. Yeah, Diego Schwartzman in his on court interview Love earlier it. on today, having got a win over Zverev, suggested to the interviewer that he was playing Berrettini next. He says he's looking forward to playing Matteo before he was swiftly reminded that it might be Nadal. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure he's got the better deal there. But. Let's be honest, Schwartz was playing the dial tight a couple of times, isn't it? Yeah, but from Diego Schwartzman, I'm enjoying being in the quarterfinals, hopefully not watching this match. Because <laughs> Nadal has looked tremendous. But every day is a new day. Yeah. Absolutely. Nadal challenge, the challenge the there from the Nadal. The and a smart game. challenge regardless of the outcome. Chilich would have an overhead on top of the net. Five millimeters in, or kind of informing us. Nadal has two challenges early. Quickly did that Second. return get on the chill? She couldn't even get out of the way for the forehand. One of the better adjustments, honestly, I've seen from Nadal on the return. Normally fairly stubborn with his court positioning, but excellent adjustment in this match. To look 13, a little ragged, 14. and you can understand it. It has been an absolute barrage that's come his way. Wave after wave of attack, really, since the start of the third. Now, with a point 
to lead five love. Just excellent serve there from Chilich, but for Chilich, he's thinking that's what I have to do to secure a point. Now I have to find my location, hit the line, be super accurate. Nadal demanding so much from his opponent right now. Just actually looking at Chilich's live ranking, he is going to fall a little further as a result of not defending the points here. Dropped to 27 probably when the new rankings are released a week today. With the positives. Him, that he really has nothing to defend pretty much for the rest of the year, so. Hope to profit at some events on in Asia. I and mean, hopefully for him, he can build from his results here. Thirty-three miles an hour on the first serve, and felt like it came back a couple of miles faster. And look at those numbers: thirty-two winners for Nadal, thirty for Chilich. Has not played poorly at all. Well, that's something a little different. Advantage, Chilich. First time tonight, isn't it? Serving volley. First time. There's a first time for everything, Nick. Mm. We always wonder why not done sprinkled in just a little bit more when you think about Nadal's return position off the first serve. And you still got to like that from Marin Chilich, right? Down two sets to one, four love, deuce, wins that point. Still trying to pump himself up a little bit. Not giving up hope just yet. Low and in front. Yes. Actually, has served fairly well throughout the match. We talked about if he could be in the high 60s on the first serve percentage, he would have a chance in this match, and he's at 67%. Advantage,
Chilic James. gets himself up and running in this fourth set. It looks as though it'll be the last set, though. Nadal, Nadal needs a couple of games. Four games to one, full set. So Nadal with a 4-1 lead here in this fourth set. Press home and get into the locker room. trouble in that rally Nadal unloading on some backhands but Chilich guessed right stayed at home Nadal's hitting his backhand with that type of pace. Where do you go? You're, you're trying to stay away from the forehand. Maybe ch change the height a little bit, try to get it up high to the backhand. Very little answers from Aaron Chilich right now. It's made too many first serves, but. On every single point in this set. Third ticket.
full sure shooting. makes it look it's easy. That is not an easy shot. Chilich got a lot of pace on that back end return. Doesn't give up any court, redirects it up the line. Fantastic stuff from Nadal. Chilich yeah, going for Barak off the return. As Nadal Nadal's moves ever closer against one full set. to a place in the quarterfinals. Average first serve speed for Nadal when he won in 2017 was 111 miles an hour. So far at this year's U.S. Open, 118 miles an hour. We've seen some big serves tonight, all the way up to 126 miles an hour. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised if he's a little up as you sound that 118 today. Love it. Chilich came into this match with almost half of his first serves not coming back coming into this match today he's down at 30 percent so, dating again not as many free points Hanging on. And perhaps we'll ask one more question of the Spaniard. to see Marin Cilic play with a little more verve than he has been doing all season, but it may not count for a whole lot. It's 5-2, Nadal in the fourth. I think Cilic should take a fair bit out of this night, shouldn't he, Mark? Yeah, it's not about anything necessarily that he didn't do correctly. It, it's about Rafael Nadal. It's about the man across the net. Nadal, we thought coming in, was playing terrific tennis. Cilic met the challenge early, raised his level in that second set. But full marks to Rafael Nadal. The way that he became more aggressive at the start of that third set, and he's never taken his foot off the pedal. Judging on what you've seen tonight, is he the favorite to win here now on Sunday, Rafa? Wow, you know, you don't want to get too emotional. <laughs> you don't want to pick things too quickly, but we did see Roger Federer with a absolute demolition of David Goffin. So, you know, I don't want to speak too soon, but clearly the way that Nadal is playing and Federer is playing, you'd have to like the chances of seeing them on Sunday afternoon here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Diego Schwartzman, of course, will be the next opponent of Nadal, assuming he can just put the icing on the cake here. Um. 
six, three and four really have raised the bar from Nadal. He has been absolutely magnificent since dropping the second set. The response he has produced here has been eye-catching. Just one more quick glance at some numbers. Percentage of first serves unreturned for Nadal coming into this match, 43%. When he won in 2017, 33%. This evening against a quality returner like Marin Cilic, 65% of his first serves unreturned. to extend the point and Chilich comes up with a beautiful slice approach up the line and Nadal was still there. And Chilich cannot play that point any better can he? No. Serve, of course, will be significant against Schwartzman. We know Schwartzman probably in the top three returners each year on tour. His numbers are outstanding, the Argentine, from the return perspective. So, Rafa's obviously, it's going to be an interesting dynamic of that matchup. Would you have picked that more aces for Nadal than Chilich in this match? Definitely not. That's just crazy good. You can't play tennis better than that. I am telling you, you cannot play tennis Thank better you. than that. The quick recognition from Nadal, forehand up the line, realizing that Chilich is on the run, closes the court off immediately. Easy put away with the volley. Around the post. And he has got the New Yorkers on Arthur Ashe out of their seats, not for the first time this evening. What did your boy Jimmy Connors say? This is what they paid for. And this is what they came for. Absolute magic from Rafael Nadal. What an atmosphere. Electric stuff here. Thank you. Thank you. Which point? Nadal seals a place in the quarterfinals of the US Open in some style. An outstanding match from the Spaniard. Marin Cilic certainly played his part. Good to see him back playing some good tennis again. But the Spaniard was imperious in sets three and four. And he's through to the last eight. Absolutely remarkable.